State of Decay 2 is back in action, and we are here to give you the full State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition review. Hey guys, I'm Obi. And I'm Zobi. And in today's episode, we will be going over State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition and talking about the changes that have been made along with new additions. Welcome to our State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition review. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to be the first to see our weekly content that comes out every Friday. For those unfamiliar with State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition, this is a new rendition of State of Decay 2 that promises new audio, visuals, weapons, better gameplay mechanics, and improvements to quest and overall performance. Also, Undead Labs have added a new playable map and updates to the tutorial, helping new players to better understand how to survive in the Zed-filled world. To top it all off, all released DLC is now free with State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition, and all improvements will be featured in the full State of Decay 2 title. Let's start off by talking about the graphical improvements. At first glance, it's kind of hard to notice the change in visuals within State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition. The first thing you might notice is the updating color palette, toning down the mass pops in color, but adding a more realistic overlay. Also, a new background fog will hinder your vision, making the world feel more enclosed and dense. But there are more things that you may not notice up front, such as enhanced foliage and the blending of terrain to make it feel more natural. Again, you may not notice these too much, but they are there if you pay close attention. When it comes to combat, enhancements have been made to blood droplets by adding a bleeding effect to weapons. Lighting has had a massive overhaul as well, showing off more realistic shadows and the casting upon materials feels overall more natural. Nighttime in darker places is where you will feel the biggest change in lighting. State of Decay 2 is super creepy at night, but it's mostly due to the lack of being able to really see what's going on in the distance. While State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition won't change this too much, better nighttime sky lighting and other major improvements will give you a better advantage after dusk and improve visibility closer to your character. We really love the new flashlight, mostly because its radius is brighter, allowing you to see Zeds before they are right on top of you. Mixing the changes visually in the new lighting mechanics makes everything blend together and feel more natural. The only issue we have now is with the enhanced shadows you can see the daylight ticks when outside, and we wish they would have blended this more to keep it from breaking the immersion. This footage is in real time. Let's move on to the new map. Welcome to Providence Ridge, a small town located down the base of a mountain rich with camping grounds and old world architecture. For the most part, this map feels more like the map from the original State of Decay, mostly because of how spread out everything is. Overall, we really enjoy this new map as it brings us closer to nature. Your starting base is set in a fire watch tower with an infirmary already built. For those who enjoyed the first game, we really think you will like this new map with its winding mountain roads and logging sites. The developers did an amazing job with storytelling within this new map as well. Here you can tell they were holding an annual celebration when the plague took over. You can even see what's left of the local parade. Overall, after playing for just a few hours, you will notice that Undead Labs put a great effort into really making this map feel like a real place. After playing on Providence Ridge, we can honestly say that this is our favorite map, besides the map in Heartland, for obvious reasons. Hey, quick interruption, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video on your social media as it helps us grow and reach a broader audience and we really do appreciate it. New Gameplay Mechanics for the most part, gameplay remains unchanged. New heavy weapons have been added to the game, and to be honest, at first glance, we thought it was gonna be something that we just kinda overlooked. But once we got our hands on these heavy weapons, we did find a good bit of fun with them. They are very powerful with a really high knockback rate, but in return, you need to have very precise timing when using these because if you miss, you can become easily overwhelmed. As far as the changes to the controller scheme go, we honestly feel like it could have been left out. We did remap a lot of the controls from the original State of Decay 2, and with the new change added, we went to remap the controls back. Some of the buttons cannot be changed and the game will simply tell you that it cannot be done. Now we only ran into this issue when playing on the Xbox, but as far as the PC goes, all buttons are fully remappable. The new tutorial is going to be a blessing for new players. The actual intro sequence remains the same, but once you are let out into the open world, the game slowly teaches you gameplay mechanics rather than just letting you figure them out on your own, and allots more time for gathering resources before coming bogged down with other tasks that need to be taken care of. Also, after a certain point, all of the plague hearts are revealed on the map. Some new players may really enjoy this, while some longtime fans might think this makes the game less immersive. However, if you're playing on the Nightmare Zone difficulty, then all Plague Hearts will still remain hidden. One of our most requested changes is zombie spawning. Killing a single zombie now instantly creates a suspension on new spawns in the immediate area, and scoring a few more zombie kills makes that no spawning zone larger. This means you are far less likely to have new zombies spawn in places right after you have cleared them out. Lastly, there were a lot of fixes when it comes to different questing scenarios. While we won't go over these, we 
will have a link in the description that will have all the information you need. Moving on to sound improvements. The sound design in the State of Decay series is something that we both have always enjoyed. The intense but rugged nature of the soundtrack mixed with various immersive background noises has always been something to behold. And when the music does stop and you sit and listen to the animals and insects during the day or the frogs croaking at night, this does a great job of pulling you into the world. It's little details like these that makes video games stand out. While this is not changing, there has been some slight audio tweaks and improvements that have been made. First off is the amount of music in game. The game's overall sound soundtrack has been almost doubled, and for this, we thank you. Right off the bat, while playing, we immediately notice some of the new audio tracks, and it helps to keep things fresh while trying to survive in this unforgiving world. You will notice a big difference in dynamic sound when it comes to spatial awareness. No longer will you hear zombies that sound like they are right on top of you when they are several yards away. And an added benefit is changes to soundscapes for vehicle driving, melee combat, and radio conversation. Also, general background audio has been remixed and improved upon. To top it all off, there are new audio effects to zombie attacks player actions, vehicle repair, breakable objects, UI interactions, and more. Lastly, when it comes to sound, at one point, we stumbled upon a truck with a pull-behind camper, and what was really interesting is that you could hear zombies growling and moving around inside. Not only did it make the world feel more real, but was also a great way to have dynamic world storytelling. Overall, State of Decay has been one of our favorite zombie survival franchises, and this still stands to this day. We can honestly recommend this game to anyone who enjoys the zombie survival genre. Undead Labs have continued to increase the quality of this title, and Juggernaut goes a long way to give back to the fans of the franchise and invite new players to pick it up. Hopefully this is Undead Labs' way of hyping up the game for a reveal of State of Decay 3. But until then, we still have plenty of content to keep us busy for quite a while. Alright guys, that's all we have for this review. If you enjoyed our State of Decay 2 Juggernaut Edition review, please don't forget to hit that like button and share this video on your social media as it helps us grow and reach a broader audience and we really do appreciate it. Now we want to know, are you a fan of State of Decay? If so, are you excited for the State of Decay Juggernaut Edition? If you're new to the franchise, are you contemplating picking it up? Let us know in the comments below. For those looking for the full change log, we will have a link in the description below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell to be the first to see our weekly content that comes out every Friday. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook by clicking the links in the description below. Until next time, this is Obi. This is Obi. Signing out. See you guys next time. Good luck surviving. surviving.